Hey everybody, um, if you are new here or you just found me or whichever, um, my name is Melanie McCann. I'm a Mary Kay beauty consultant. Um, so I wanted to come on and talk with y'all today and we're going to do a little makeover look. Okay. So we're actually having a contest in Mary Kay. It's called then now always and how it works is you will message me, um, and then we will set up if um, we'll set up like a beauty appointment. And if you, you know, even if you're not local, we can still do it virtually. Like we can um, video call through Facebook Messenger or whichever. We'll find a way. We'll find a way. Um, so if you don't live close to me, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Um, but if you are local to me, you can book a time and a day with me, and we do a whole, um, a whole beauty look for you and then you would go to my website and I can add my website in the comments you go to my website and then you fill out the form and ta-da it's done <laughs> it's not hard um so I wanted to um, I, my, I think the 90s were my favorite time I'm just saying it we have so many awesome things now I probably wouldn't use most of those things today um but we had so many awesome things for back then anyway and so what I really wanted to do is I want to create my beauty look from the 90s. So the 90s, I was in middle school. I was in middle school. Um, now, I didn't really know much about um, makeup at all. At all. Nothing. Um, so it was an interesting time. Um, so yeah, so we are going to, and I, of course, it, because it was the nineties, I don't have a good bit of the stuff that I used back then. So we're just going to go with what we have here. Okay. So this will be very interesting to say the least. And I really didn't use, um, I didn't use all that much, um, makeup, but what I did use <laughs> it was a lot so and let me tell you something funny about how I how I dressed and um it'll make sense <laughs> with the, the makeup that I'm using um so when I was in middle school I my favorite thing to wear which is sometimes I did wear like just plain t-shirts to school or whatever but my favorite thing to wear is I would wear like a white like a regular white shirt or a regular black shirt or it had to be like a solid color it could be like a v-neck or like a little oval top like this um but then on top of that plain boring nothing shirt okay um i would wear like a a short sleeve collared shirt like a button-up shirt um and it usually had like y'all it's so horrible i'm like it's embarrassing telling you i mean it looked good at the time for the 90s now 100 percent no um and I, okay so i would put this they they were mainly like checkered kind of but they were different colors themselves so whatever color your shirt was underneath it had to go along with whatever color the one the, the top shirt was okay so and i would never button the, the I would never button the collared shirt it would just be like I don't know I think it was kind of like a security thing you know how like kids some kids back then they would like dress in all black and they were hiding themselves I know I did that with colorful clothes I don't know anyways so and let me tell you another fun fact I always don't ask me why I don't know where in the world I got this from but I would always match my eyeshadow to my shirt no matter what it was what color what day of the week it was my eyeshadow matched my shirt it probably didn't look good sometimes okay <laughs> probably didn't but it is what it is I can't take it back because it was so long ago okay so we are going to do my makeup exactly how I did in the 90s. And this is how I would get ready for school or if I was going to go to work or church or whichever. This is how I would do my makeup. Now, my hair, I just left it. It needs some help today, but I just left it how it normally is now because I can't redo that hairdo look um, from the 90s. Okay. My hair was a lot shorter back then and now it's, it's pretty long now. Um... 
that and I didn't own um, a straightener. My hair as I've gotten older has gotten more and more curly. It used to have like just a really hard wave to it but now it's it's pretty curly. Um, and I never, I only blow dry, what I was thinking, blow dry my hair? I don't know. But literally it was a huge like poof of ridiculous hair that I tried to brush down flat because I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, Y'all, it was a horrible time. Okay. So, all right. We will start here with our foundation. Now, clearly um, when I was in middle school, I did not have no Mary Kay foundation. <laughs> I had um, whatever my mama bought me or when I was working, whatever was cheapest, probably at the Walmarts, okay? Um, and just no, I did not use no moisturizer, no SPF, nothing, okay? Um, as you see, all these age spots on my face I probably should have huh um, <laughs> so but no we didn't use that um, also the <laughs> foundation primer no we didn't we didn't use that either okay um, we didn't use foundation primer or I didn't none of my friends did I know so no foundation primer no oil mattifier to soak up the grease which would have been helpful huh but no so we just literally just wash our face and throw on our foundation uh, so let's see okay and listen listen we're just gonna use our fingers okay because we're in middle school we're just gonna use our fingers I don't think I ever used a sponge or a brush or anything okay I just put it all on my fingers and hope it looked great so that's what we're gonna do oh god and don't get the same color as your skin color no <laughs> you can't do that Go, yeah, we, we gotta look like we got a tan, okay? A tan. So, here we go. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> this is crazy. Don't forget your, your eyelids, y'all. Don't, don't forget your eyelids. <sighs> yeah, this is terrible. This is craziness. I cannot believe I did this every single day. And, okay, also don't forget... We're not going to blend down. We're going to leave it right here. Okay? Okay. All right. We're going to need some more because this ain't. We ain't even got our forehead yet. Here we go. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. <sighs> oh, God. This is terrible. Okay. All right. Now we add another layer because we want the fullest coverage possible. Fullest coverage possible. Okay. And this is what me and my friends would do if the foundation we were using did not have enough coverage. You, you just put a whole nother coat on. Why not? A whole nother coat. All right. Yeah, that's terrible. All right. Let's get our let's get our forehead one more time. All right. Let's put the lid back on us. And of course, everything you got, it's got ugly fingerprints all over it because you did not use a brush <laughs> or a sponge or anything. All right, we're going to blend it in. Kind of. <laughs> well, we're going to need a wipe or something. Hang on. Hang on. All right, let's uh, wipe some of this off. Uh oh, let's, oh, i got to blend some more out there. Okay, y'all, under my eyes look rough. My eyes are so red today. Lord. Okay. Let's wipe all this mess off. Oh, we forgot something important to add to our stash here. You got to have eyeliner. And no, it ain't going to go where y'all think it's going to go. It is not how I usually do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There it is. 
I never in, in my listen in my adult years I never add eyeliner to the bottoms anymore absolutely not but I did in the 90s <laughs> so we're gonna do it and see how it looks all right and we're gonna go ahead and skip everything else now we're gonna go ahead and do our powder because why not that's how we did back then Well, this is a brand new one too. I didn't know I didn't. I hadn't already opened this. And today I'm going to use my Mary Kay Silky Setting Powder. But that is not what I used to use back in the day. Okay. What I used back in the day, y'all know, it was that really good pressed powder that um, CoverGirl. Mm. And you would put that mess on thick, thick. What, no grease getting through that, y'all? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. You'll excuse my hair over here. It is not behaving for me. I have not been feeling great the last couple of days. <clears throat> so figured I would do me and y'all this fun little video for our then now always contest we have going on oh y'all look at that that's a line right there no blending now no blending it's gonna take me so long to get this off my face I'm just gonna let y'all know Okay, we got it. We got our five pounds of powder on our face. All right. Close this back before I forget. I always forget to turn the little thing back and I just <laughs> put it back in there and then it's everywhere. It's fine. No problem. All right. So our next step after this, oh, this is so, look at y'all, look at my hairline. That's ridiculous. Um, okay. So our next step after this is we are going to add our lipstick um and the the lipstick I would just always wear pink because I didn't really know what to wear I mean I spent so much time trying to coordinate my um eyeshadow with my shirt hello so I would just wear like a regular pink ish um which it usually would be a lot brighter of a pink I'm trying to think like brighter of a pink lipstick but I don't have any of those so we're just gonna wear what we got but now you have to put a lot because it had to last you the whole school day all right And lip liner, absolutely not. No. <laughs> I, don't, I never, ever use a lip liner, ever. So that definitely is not happening, y'all. It's going to take me so long to get this out of my eyebrows. You can definitely tell my eyebrows are thinning since I put all that mess in there. Lord, I need to get them tinted again. All right, we're going to move straight on to our eyeshadow, okay? Of course... It has to match your shirt because I don't know why, like I said before. And no, let me tell y'all something. There is no, we're going to add one color here and one color over here and one color over here and one color over here. I just put one color. <laughs> just put one color. So, here we go. Oh, y'all. And, and the dang eye primer, y'all know. I did not even know what eye primer was um so i definitely wasn't using that so oh <laughs> that's a lot so um what will happen is is i would just cake a whole lot on there like if it was an eyeshadow that i knew would flake off easily throughout the day i would just add a lot a lot so here we go oh yo uh uh <laughs> 
Now these, I'll tell you, um, I think we do still have these available on the website. Or not the website, but we as consultants can go in and order these. Oh, these, um, y'all, I don't remember what the heck it's called. I've had it so long. Warm Hues eyeshadow palettes, but the colors in here, y'all, they're super pigmented and so pretty. But I think we do actually have it on InTouch that we can order, so... And I think it's at a little bit of a discount right now, too. So you just have to message me if you want one, y'all. Oh, memories. And look here. We didn't do no blending or none of that either, y'all. We just kind of like caked that mess on there and went about our day. All right. And I am going to add a little bit of this one because every eye look, every everything I ever did had to have some sparkles. I don't know what brand this is. This is what it says. And that's the bottom. And y'all, let me show y'all this stuff because this is actually not Mary Kay. But let me show y'all this because this is so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look at it. And it comes in a little thing. So it is messy because it has the holes in it but i just do like one little dent let me show y'all this oh it's so pretty so pretty i don't i think i got this out of an ipsy bag at some point or something everything had to have a little glitter y'all everything oh it's probably gonna be all over my eye over there and you just pat that on all over your very bright orange eyeshadow. <laughs> oh, oh, the glitter. My gosh. Okay. Now, and I will do another video um, tomorrow of how I, um, how I do my makeup now. So, then, back in the 90s and now. So, we will not look like this tomorrow. Okay. All right. So, now we are going to use... Our eyeliner. Now, let me tell y'all something. Since I have gotten older, I only add my eyeliner right here on the top only. But we're not doing that today. <laughs> we're going to go back in time and do it the exact same way we did it in the 90s. Hang on. Oh, my God. That feels so weird on my eye just because I have not done it in so long. You know, this is horrible. Do people really still do this? Oh my God. I could not. It's so weird because I haven't done it in so long. It just feels and looks so weird. All right. I can't believe I did this to myself every single day. This is ridiculous. All right. I feel like I can't see. All right. Um, so I know that the, um, I know that the mascara I would use, um, in middle school was cover girl but I can't remember exactly it was 400 years ago but today I'm going to use my fanorama but I'm just going to apply it how I did back then which is I am absolutely not using an eyelash curler what's that I'm just going to put this on and walk straight out my house with some pointy uncurled eyelashes because <laughs> that's just how we did I have no eyelash curly y'all and we ain't do nothing we didn't do nothing with our eyebrows either. I cannot. Sometimes I think back to those days and I get so mad at myself. Like, how could I have let me go out of my house like that? But I did, y'all.
nothing. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> yeah, I just, <sighs> this is so un un unimpressive to me compared to how I do my lashes now. It's like, what is this? This is nothing. <sighs> and let me tell you, ow, I put myself in the eye. And let me tell you, if I had to go back and do my makeup how I did back then, I would be in trouble, y'all, because I don't own all the eyeshadow colors I would need, y'all. I used to have palettes, and they would have, like, let's fix it, let's fix it. Um, they would have so, so many different colors in them. I don't have, I mean, I do have a lot of colors, but not like that. <laughs> so, I would have to get a whole new eyeshadow collection. I was kind of lucky today because I have this and it's orange. So, yeah, y'all. This is it. And I wish y'all could see in person because y'all can't hardly see. I mean, you could probably tell just by here. And there's... Oh, oh, wait. Wait, we ain't done yet. We got one more step to go. Y'all almost let me forget. The most important thing is the blush. We gotta add our rouge. Okay. Can y'all guess what color I'm going with? That's right. This one right here. Because it matches my shirt. <laughs> yeah. Just watch. It's terrible. And no, 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 no. Uh, uh We didn't do no contour. We're going to take some of it off. We didn't do no contour, no bronzer. We didn't do none of that now. So you just had your foundation, your powder, your eyeshadow stuff, all your eyeliner, all that, and your blush, and your lipstick. That's it. You didn't do all this other. There was no cut crease. There was nothing. Okay. And you smile. Oh. <laughs> Good? Okay. And there wasn't no swirlies, no, no nothing. We just flick it on. It's fine. Yeah? Okay. Hmm. And now we're done. And we can go do well, this might this might be kind of much right here. Oh, good. Okay. Um, and now we're done and we can go about our day. We're going to go see, we're going to go to school. Then we're going to go visit with our friends and it's Friday and we might go to the movies. Um, if our mom gives us some money. Um, yeah, yo, no, <laughs> it's, it's better times. I'll definitely tell you that it's better times. Um, so yeah, tomorrow, however, I'll come back. And we'll do makeup now. How we do it right now. And then we're just going to go ahead and add in the always. Because I probably won't ever do my makeup different. <laughs> than I do how I do my makeup in real life now. Because this, absolutely not. I don't know what I was thinking. Why my friends let me walk around like this. Why my mother let me do this to myself. They should have helped me, but they did not. How rude. But thank y'all for watching. And remember, if you want to um, participate in our contest, our Then Now Always contest, make sure you message me. Um, you can drop a comment here. You can go find me, Melanie McCann, on Facebook. Um, send me a message. Like I said before, if you are not local, you can um, just message me and we'll do a virtual appointment. It does not matter. We can do it however which way, and then you go on my website, and you post your whole look and answer all their questions, and that's all it takes. So, I appreciate y'all watching, and I will be back tomorrow for our now <laughs> current look.